G'day guys, welcome back to Cakes by Chopper. Today we have Naruto for you. This has been highly requested. I found this image on Google which I absolutely loved. So what you're going to do is start by filling your cake with a buttercream. And this is just a vanilla cake with a plain vanilla buttercream and then some jam put on the top to keep the cake nice and moist and yummy on the inside. Now you're going to cover that in the buttercream as well, quite liberally, and then use a fork to score up all the surface. And then using a couple of drops of food coloring on top of a spatula, drag it across the buttercream, which will give you this fiery glazy effect. Now to give it more of a fiery flame look, I drag the sculpting tool through it, which reveals some of the yellow a bit more and keeps the reds a bit harsh. So um, that's how you get that fiery look. Using the template that I've put up on the Facebook page for you, you're gonna cut out the shape of his head. Um, now I've done it in sections, so I've done the face and what looked like a bald head, then the hair separately and place that on over the top. Next step would be cut out the material that's gonna go over the top of his forehead and the metal plate that goes on top for the decoration with his symbol. For the symbol, I used the fondant and some silver shimmer dust. And the actual material band itself, I just used the light blue fondant and rolled it out and then cut it to size. And you can see here I used the hair just like by cutting out the um, dip in his hair and the off cuts of the hair for his eyebrows and sideburns. Now applying the metal plate that's got the symbol on it with a little bit of water. And I just trimmed as I went because after I rolled it out a little bit, it did stretch. If you do this face in layers, you really can't go wrong. I've just went through and done like the bottom, the middle and the top and put the eyes and all that in. Using the gel food dye I painted in the detail of the eyes, you can do this in fondant if you've got lots of time. I find it a lot quicker just to paint them on. Once you've got all your pieces on and together, you can start finishing up your cake by using some liquid food coloring. Just go around, trace around all the pieces that you want to emphasize. Paint on his nose, his lips and his chin, the detailing for his ears and the whiskers. I think they're whiskers, don't, don't get angry at me if they're not. And then I used some yellow food dye to give his hair some highlights and lowlights. And then you can see here I used a fine brush to give the material bend on his head a lot of shadowing and creased effect. This is totally up to you if you want to do it. You can see it really lifts the cake out, as does giving him the border around the face. Um, spend as much time as you like on it and you'll have a perfect Naruto cake that will be a sure hit at any party. Thanks for watching my cakes, guys. New video every Friday. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.